Okay, so it is 6.24 a.m. in the morning on September 9th, 2022. And I'm about to do something. I'm going to no longer prolong the inevitable. I'm going to buy Splatoon 3. Yeah, we're requiring them out. I'm buying Splatoon 3. Right here, right now. I am, dude, I'm brightly smiling. Behind this camera, I have the widest smile right now. I've been waiting for this for five years, and it's finally in my hands. This is the first glimpse of Splatoon 3 right here, boys. I'm going to be playing this like crazy. I can't freaking wait to do this. Can't wait to get back into this experience and be happy once more. Because when I played the world premiere, it made me really freaking happy. So boys, wish me luck. I'm going to have a blast when this is done. Alright, I had to call someone. Now we're back. Where are my guns? I'd like my guns back. Okay, now we're equipped again. Alright, so... Oh, there's an air duct here. Alright. Level 2, I think. I don't know. Let's do it. Yeah. I am glad I got my gear back. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I still can't believe it was Mr. Quiz this time, and he's the enemy. That's freaking crazy. But I've already done everything in the campaign. Literally everything. Sorry that I'm skipping out on dialogue, but I don't really expect anyone to be watching this. Or, like, primarily watching me play, so... Sorry that I'm being really freaking quick and skipping out on dialogue. So sorry about that. We'll be good. Waves. My armor broke. What was that? Ultra stamp. Oh wow. Okay, lit lit him up. What is that? Power egg container. Let's do it. Ooh. A week later. Boom! I remember using this thing in the beta. Alright. Aww. I'm a superstar, apparently. Yay! Boom. Oh, this way. I'll make it. Ooh, splashdown. Wow! What is this? Oh! Fire! Boom! Holy crap! See, so yeah, it is pretty freaking crazy. This campaign was crazy. It was crazy fun. Like, I had a lot of fun playing this campaign. I'm very glad I got an opportunity to play it on launch, and beat it on launch too, since that's what I'm about to do. 
uh, how are we going to go? there. Oh, this way. I guess. Just swap over the burst bombs. Flyer! Okay, we got something right there to worry about. Take you out. Crab tank! Get me! Thank you, big man. Uh, final checkpoint. I just wasted this thing. Alright. We'll be fine. Come on. Get up on there. I'm literally standing up playing this right now. Don't worry, Octo Sniper's missing all of his shots. I, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. He just beat me. Come on, then. Upward. And up until level... the er, second half of level two. I wonder who I have to fight. If there's any kind of freaking... Uh, Agent 3 battle from Octo Expansion here, I wonder who it will be. And I hope that's not the case. Sorry about me being stupid. I'm not just gonna stand by and just let, let that rocket just launch. I don't even know where to go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's real messed up, Mr. Grizz. I liked you. You were a cool person. I worked for you. And now you freaking just became this? I'm going to kill you. I will end you. I'll turn a space center left. You turn on a light or something? No. Alright, sure. A little eye on senses, I can do that. Oh god. Fire! Uh, oh. Alright, well here goes. Full on ambush. Boom. Alright, uh, this is a bit nerve-wracking, so far. I've only died once. Well, twice, actually, because of what happened back there. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Golly gee, this is gonna be a very, very tough fight. I like this music, though. This music's a bop. Same, Marie. I mean, Agent 2. Same. Oh, God! Okay, get out of that. Boom! Hey, I can play aggressive, too. I haven't even touched multiplayer yet. The first thing I did when I got on this game was literally just beat it. Or literally just get on the story mode and not stop playing ever since. Uh, is it? Okay. Shoe up. We're just gonna run. If only we. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I'm standing up right now for this because I don't have another chair to really sit in, you know, to play and get gameplay at the same time. I am having like a lot of fun. Too bad I don't have a freaking Elgato to do this. Yeah, I just wasted that, whatever. I like Splashdown a bit more. Oh god, Octo Commanders. Suck! Good lord, dude! Yeah, actually, I just now noticed that it is getting larger. No. If I learn one thing from playing Rain freaking Rainmaker, it's just the camp people wherever they're launching. 
Just camp their launch points. If there's one thing I learned from doing that, if there's one thing I learned from playing this game, it's to do that. Just do it, trust me, it's funny. Why? Alright. Now we're at the bottom. Uh, isn't our goal to get up to the rocket? Are you freaking kidding me? Here? Now? Really? Ah, oh, whatever. I've got I've got gold to spare for days. Alright, we're going through this tube. Man. Stuff's about to get intense. The spirit lifter. Here it goes. Then again, like, I'm gonna also talk about the story of this game. Like, being the new- being part of the newer Squid Beak Splatoon, and you being, like, the new Agent 3 and the original one being, like, promoted to Captain, uh, it's kinda weird, but I can dig it. I actually like it. It really did lead into, like, a really amazing game. This game's really freaking fun. Like, super fun. I'm very glad I even managed to get it on launch, literally at 6 a.m., and put non-stop play the campaign until I got this far. I've been playing this game for nearly freaking 12 hours now. Because I'm that cool. Oh, I just mow through him. Splash him down! Man, this is fun. I really like this campaign. Like, it has, like, a mix of, like, the difficulty of Splatoon 1's campaign and, like, the uniqueness of Splatoon 2's campaign. I thought I was just about to die there. That's right up the ink line. Whatever you call those things. Ink rails, whatever. Okay. And also, this game gives you, like, an extreme sense of, like, Super Mario Sunshine a bit. You know, with all this mysterious goop everywhere, that's what it makes me think of. And that's a good thing. Uh, yep. I'll make it. Yeah, see? Eh, not really, but okay. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Oh, crap! He pushed me into the goop. See, it's like Mario Sunshine in a way. Alright, just don't touch any of that stuff. It's This place is infested with it. But I really do like this so far. This is super fun. I'm very glad I got a I got a chance to play it on launch. I'm not gonna stop saying that, by the way. Literally today, September 9th, whatever time it is. What time is it? 4:26 p.m. September 9th. I'm about to beat this game already. It only took me from early morning to nearly late evening to do it. But hey, I'll take my chances. I'm just mowing through them right now. But I've waited five years to finally say I own this game. Ow, my face. Okay, I think I'm dead. Maybe not. I can only tell. Oh my god, I just noticed that! The freaking Zapfish is in there! Yeah, we'll get it back in a second. Jesus, dude! Things being held inside of containment! The Spear Lifter, first class. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! 
Okay. Got an idea. Mess him up! Ah. Small fry, I forgot his name. Oh! Spider squid! Spider squid! Ah, there we go. Okay, we just gotta get collateral. There we go. Alright, awesome! Alright. Yeah, we're getting somewhere! Oh crap, I almost just now killed myself right there. Alright, right there. Jump down. One. Three. Five. Seven. Nine. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. That was close. Fifteen. Oh god. Uh, where can I go? We need a different angle. Okay. Uh-oh. That was close. I lost count. Uh... Okay. Here he goes. Get us! Get us! Get us! Okay, uh, right there. And, uh, right there. Uh, right there. Uh, right there. I don't know what you want to call this. Do you just call it Spider-Man or, or do you just call it like Elastis? I just wonder Elastis, right? You guys tell me in the comments. Alright. Oh god, this is not working. Work number two. Oh my god, I'm gonna go. I'm keeping full shitter. What's that point? Yo, snipers here now? How the heck? Oh, right there. It's kind of perfect. Never mind. Oh, okay, we're good. Crap, I just jumped straight into that. Whoopsie. Alright, let's try that again. Cool, my back's over here. Whatever. I'm having fun. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Uh oh, okay, we're good. Oh, crap. Okay. We'll be fine. We'll get back up there. Not good. Let's go. Where's he at? Oh. Hey, what's up? Alright. Holy crap. Oh, we're in the rocket. Alright, so Captain Cuttlefish is being held hostage in here. There are three components to my business plan. The vessel of the spirit and the wisdom of agents. Someone is taking notes, yes. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, what just happened to him? Cuttlefish? Oh god. Did my man just get wrecked? Did he just get dinked? Oh no. So that's why the Octolings looked much more fuzzy. Maybe Mr. Grizz took like took them hostage and did that to them. Is that what's going on here? Oh no, we gotta fight him, don't we? I bet you we gotta fight. Oh my god! Oh! What the frick is that thing?! The- What?! Mr. Grizz! Captain! Valued employees, we appreciate your- Oh no. You gotta stop the rocket from launching! Oh my god! Okay, so the bear's on there. Oh, no, 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 we gotta put a stop to this, right? Oh, no. 
Is see if we can head it back up to the crater? Don't call it, don't call it here in Mageddon. Oh wow, that's not in remote. Oh. Oh, it's tear. Uh, I knew that would work. I knew they wouldn't just kill him like that. I knew it. Yeah, I, I knew they wouldn't just kill cuttlefish like that. She had that power. Yeah, she she had eels. Shark. What the frick is going on? Says me. Oh, we're riding the shark. Crap, yeah, this is gonna be an. Oh, that's a helmet! I just noticed that's how he's breathing. Oh my god, all the eggs! Jesus Christ, is this all the eggs that we've all collected in Salmon Run in the last game? That thing is freaking terrifying! Oh, let's fly! Let's go! You just, you nearly freaking killed my homie! This... Oh, I know what this is! This is like the thing that you hear at the beginning of like every single work shift that you play! Or every single uh, salmon run shift that you play, like that's oh god! Ooh, I've got an idea. Okay, you gotta shoot him. Get him! Holy crap! This is actually a really freaking good beat. Uh oh. It's just Super Mario Sunshine all over again. I'm not concerned about the fuzzy ooze, I'm more concerned about the freaking biggest freaking bear after you. Fight me like a man, Mr. Grizz! Oh my god, that's freaking terrifying! Ow, my face. That is- Oh no. I need that egg! Okay, so he's making the thing rotate, but I need the other egg. Move! Come on, dude, give me the, give me the other egg. Give me that. Okay, there it is. Yeet! Eat that, boy! The minions ain't stopping me today. 
Holy crap! Nothing's stopping me. Okay, okay. Oh, jeez. We want him! Okay, that's two. Okay, you just gotta keep on wailing on him like that. What is this? What is going on? This is not a Splatoon game. This is just sci-fi on a different level. This is all kinds of freaky. This might be the final phase. I'm fairly certain this is the final phase. Okay, we need to get over there. Oh, jeez! Okay, didn't make it, didn't make it. This is all kinds of messed up. Oh god. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to knock those back at him? I can't even get over there to the other egg. Jesus. Okay, okay, you just need full momentum. Full momentum is key! Okay, I think I can make that. Yep! Okay, just keep moving. Don't touch any of those spores. Whatever you would want to call them. Okay, he's making the world rotate again. Holy crap, this is intense. Oh dear. Hit him! Oh, frick, I missed. Okay, he ate that. Did he? Oh dear! He's got a sonic wave, like a sonic boom of his own. Or killer whale. Get him! Come on! Oh dear! Okay, okay. We're better. Not good. We're dying. Come on! Hit it! Bam! Is that it? Yeah, I'm proactive. It's time to clock out in a few moments. Earth will be ruled by mammals once again. Oh God! What? Help? What the- Uh... What? Octavio?! Holy crap! Octavio is helping me! Oh god. Oh come on, don't let her have some fun. Calamari Hation 3 mix. Wait, what's... what's... Small Fry doing? Oh, sorry there, I seem to have interrupted your little video there. 
Uh, I'm What's speeding this portion up because this is like the portion of the right, level so where I just didn't chair. know I could move the uh, okay. mech Marine that like DJ Octavia was in. I didn't know I there. had to move it to get into a closer look on the fuzzballs. So I'm speeding this one up what just to heck? kind of avoid humiliation because I don't really know you can move it until like 30 seconds in. Yeah, sorry. Small fry Mr. Chris, Mr. Chris got huge-ified! It's so adorable! Alright, let's finish what we started. Return of the Mammalians. Alright. You ooze, you lose. Go back to Ursa Wiener. Weiner. I, I don't know. Let's go, Octavio! Three minutes and 33 seconds before he slams into the earth. Hurry. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's just Octo Expansion all over again. Jesus Christ! Okay, that's horrifying. On that day, a massive fuzzball was born in space. Okay, that's... That's terrifying. But now I actually know what to do. I didn't know you could move the thing, so that's why I was confused. Good lord. Alright, there. So, that's how you do it. So you just have to, uh... So you have to navigate it on your own. That's cool. But it's crazy that Octavio is helping us. Okay, that hurt. Okay, so some are fake, some are real. The ones you want to aim for are the ones on his body. He's m ow! Hey, right, we gotta be careful a bit. Okay, that, that's perfect angle, I believe. Oh dear, move. Oh, perfect. Perfect. All right, there's only two spores left. We got this one for real this time. This is crazy, man. Never have I ever been this hyped before for the campaign. Okay, okay, okay. I, I know the POV now. Just gotta dodge him. Ow. Oh, that killed me. Oh dear. Okay, two more, two more. So just don't die. You die, then it's auto game over, so you need to be real careful. I really like the power armor Agent 3's wearing though. Okay. Don't let those things hit you. Oh dear. Alright, get the one on his back. Oh dear! Come on. Come on. Okay, we're good. We got it. We got we got the third one. We got the third one, I believe. Jesus! I'm trying to save the world here! I don't need you guys messing it up. Hey you Octavio's minions! Octavio, get your man! Get your mans! 
Alright, it's now or never. Let's go. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Oh dear. I think one of those things is gonna end up oh dear. Oh god. Boom. Okay. Oh yeah, that's it. No! Yeah, I, I wasn't falling for them. One just came by sheer coincidence. Come on, we got a minute left. We need to hurry. Come on, we're right there. We're right there. Come on. Okay. We got it. We got it. Woohoo! Oh! Shoot it at him! To the inferno! Inferno, baby! Woohoo! Holy crap, that was hype! Cross flight and cross fade to black. You and I have received severe pain. Jesus! We just have a bit of a sit down <laughs> after that. I is that it? D did I do it? Is that it? I, I don't know. How, how am I supposed to feel about this? Oh, uh. Okay. Yep. The great Zapfish came back. Yeah, that's how it always works. <laughs> They're jealous. <laughs> Wave goodbye. Is that it? Uh, where am I supposed to be shooting? We did it, boys! I have no idea what to do, though. Wow, man. That was an amazing game. Even if it only took me, like, 12 hours to beat it, or at least nearly 12 hours, this was an amazing game, and Nintendo really did outdo themselves on it. This game is amazing, man. I've been waiting five years for this moment to come by, and I've finally, you know, got the opportunity to play it, and... This game was amazing, dude. This was an amazing game, and I'm very glad I got to play it. You know, especially at launch, and beat it on launch, and already do everything. I got all the scrolls, I got all the collectibles, I fulfilled all the logs, and this and that and the other. I did everything. 
This was an amazing game, dude. The story was phenomenal. They actually did have me for a moment there. I thought they actually killed Captain Cuttlefish, but... I knew they wouldn't do that. But this is an awesome... This was an awesome campaign, man. The song's a bot, too. This really does take me back to when I first beat, uh... Th this really does take me back to when I first beat Splatoon 2, and I still have the same screenshot I took when I first beat it. Back on, like, the 21st of, uh, September 2017, I think. But this game was really freaking amazing, and I'm very glad I got to play it, like, it, on launch as well. The story was amazing, where, you know, Deep Cut was at first what we thought were the villains, and then it proceeded to be freaking Mr. Grizz. That was an amazing story, and the final part of it was amazing. I'm sorry I'm talking over the song, but I just wanted to give, like, my final thoughts before the credits end, because this is going to be a very short-lived moment. But this game is amazing. I haven't even played the multiplayer yet. The first thing I did when I got on here was literally play the campaign. But this game... Th this game is freaking amazing. I love how I can hear, like, remnants of maritime me melody in there. Sort of. Now that's a song that really stuck with me, and I really don't think any other credit song can ever top it. Wow, man. I was really... This game blew off my expectations. I wasn't expecting much but from it, but hey, it's a Splatoon game. You kind of have to expect a lot. And, golly gee, I really was, ex I really did expect a lot from this game, and I got, you know, I got an amazing game. I'm very glad I beat it, especially first day. So, there's that. I'm very glad I did it. You know, beat the game, even 100% of it. It's an amazing game, and I want to thank you guys for sticking through me, for sticking with me throughout this entire thing. If you're still here, thank you. Okay, now I'm starting to get a bit more impatient. I love the song, but I just want these credits to end. Oh look, there's the bear! There's Mr. Grizz! Well... Everyone, ladies and gents... That's Splatoon 3. One and done. In only a few hours. That was an amazing game. That really blew off my expectations. Oh, I got the Hero Mindset replica. And the suit. And the boots. The Hero Shot. Nice. I got a sticker. Kettle? I got a secret kettle? What kettle is it talking about? Well, I'll play that off camera. Oh my god, now it just feels weird just being back in here. I'm tired out of my mind. Oh, they're waiting for me. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. 
Booyah! <laughs> he just said booyah. That's it. I love you. I love you, cat. Oh, homo. Now, what's this secret thing about? But where'd I find that? What's going on here? So, that was Splatoon 3. And before I end the video off on a high note, I wanted to give my final thoughts. Now, uh, note that this is probably one of the best campaigns I've ever played. And that's saying a lot, especially for launch. It's still September 9th. I took a bit of a nap, and I'm filming this like hours after I beat the game, like from 6 to 9. So three hours after I beat it, here are my final thoughts. The story of the game uh, is pretty freaking good. You know, how they turn on you with like saying, oh, it's just going to be normal soon again. Psych, nah, you're getting sent into a crater. I like that. That was freaking cool. So, there was that. And then there was, like, the element of uh, Octo Expansion in there. And that was pretty freaking cool. You know, in Alterna, you had the Octo Expansion element. You know, you pay a fee, do some levels, and you choose what weapon you want. It, it was cool. Sorry I'm walking through darkness, but... It was a really cool campaign, and I really enjoyed it. I mean, I've done everything. There's no point in going back, except for the secret kettle, which I didn't do. Which I will likely do later. But I did play it a bit on camera. I just don't want to feature that attempt, because it was kind of bad. Uh, it's just an entire big old level. It, it's basically just the Mile High Club of, uh, of Splatoon. You die once, no checkpoints. And it's kind of hard. So, yeah. You're much more vulnerable, and you got to do a, bu a bunch more platforming. And I think the bubble goes on for a bit. But it's after Alterna. That's what the level's called. So, story was amazing. Like, the fact that DJ Octavio helped you this time, and uh, Captain Cuttlefish nearly died, and he's just now a skinny boy. Uh... And that you're the new Agent 3 of the new Squid Beaks Platoon. Uh, so, it was a really good story. I love it. It's probably one of the best campaigns I ever played. And especially for launch date, that's saying a lot. Because, like, that's... I've never legitimately sat down to play an entire campaign in one sitting. But and I was always wanting to get off and just go straight to multiplayer. But... Every single time, the more I played it, the more reasons it gave me to play the story mode. Like, the more reasons, that, the more time I put into it, the more, like, the more it convinced me to keep going. And that's something a campaign can barely ever do. I mean, I beat Sonic Forces when it came out in, like, 2018. Or, it didn't come out 2018, but I got it late December. So, I beat that game. I beat it in one setting. But Splatoon 3, or like, Sonic Forces was just, like, pure coincidence. I wasn't expecting to beat that in only, like, a few hours. But Splatoon 3 was, like, one I was intentionally trying to beat on one setting. Like, I didn't want to go through that, and I just wanted to go straight to multiplayer so I could play with, like, my friends, like, Lyra and Ross and Henry. <laughs> Excuse me. But, oh, yeah, by the way, shout out to them if they're watching this. Uh... But then again, the story mode just kept on giving me reasons to play. I mean, as you could see, they came online whenever I was uh, on the final boss. If you look back in the video, my friends came back online. And I might join them in a bit, you know, play some multiplayer with them. But it was really freaking fun. The gameplay was really freaking cool. Like, the power acts have, like, a legitimate purpose now. Instead of just upgrading your gun and just being done with it. They have an actual purpose, and the Saltinium... Well, I didn't really like looking for it, it was a pretty cool concept, but I did do everything in the game. I got all the alternate locks filled in, I got the sunken scrolls, I got all of my hero gear leveled up. I just gotta do that final kettle and then we're golden. I basically 100%ed uh, the entirety of Splatoon 3 within a few hours. <laughs> but story and gameplay are amazing. The final boss was really freaking cool too. <laughs> Like, it'd be Mr. Grizz, and then DJ Octavio coming to help you, like... That's just proof that all villains always can't be evil. They'll 
turn into the heroes of the story, like, at some point. So, it was a really amazing story. I mean, you could say it had some flaws, but I loved it. With deep cut starting off as, like, enemies, I kind of like that. And there's just so much I like about this story, and I'm very glad I got to play it on launch. And I'm really glad you guys stuck with me throughout the final boss. So, I don't keep you guys. You have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Sorry I haven't been uploading lately. I've been kind of taking a bit of a hiatus. So, bye guys.